What's up everyone, it's Brian. And in this video, I wanted to give you a quick three year overview of my Galaxy Z Fold 2. It's been one year since I did the two year follow up and one year later, three years total obviously, the, Z, the same Z Fold 2 that I've had continues to hold up very well. The screen opens up flat, don't have to worry about that. Everything still is as good as it was on day one, I think. It still opens and closes smoothly, the cameras are fine, performance is great. Battery life is still where I expect it to be. Um, I have changed up accessories a little bit, going to this thin sort of carbon fiber case with a Spigen finger ring on the back so that everything is easier to hold with one hand. I do like this form factor. The Pixel Fold and some other alternatives these days do look compelling, but I do actually like the narrow screen because, again, it's easy to hold with one hand. I feel like the alternatives actually are a little bit harder potentially to hold with one hand because this, the, this, the overall hardware is wider than the Samsung foldables. But that's basically it. I mean, if, for a more in-depth look, maybe take a look at my two-year video from last year because it continues to hold up very well. I do drop this on the ground every so often and everything is still fine. So no issues with the hardware, the software. It continues to get updates. Not entirely sure for how long, but everything is holding up really nicely, more so than I thought it would, to be honest, because this is a new form factor. Who knows how long the hinge system will work, but so far for myself, it continues to be quite nice. And the Z Fold 5 is compelling, but ultimately, because my Fold 2 continues to hold up fine, I never thought to, or, or never truly wanted to pre-order or upgrade to it. We'll have to see what the Z Fold 6 next year ends up being like. Maybe I'll upgrade at that point, although it's going to be more expensive than the Fold 5 would have been because the trade-in values by Samsung won't be as high for the Fold 2 next year. But we'll have to see. If this continues to hold up, I might not upgrade at all. But again, we'll have to see what that looks like. But that's it with this video. If there are any comments, questions about this or anything else, feel free to leave them down below. But again, that's it, and I'll see you all in the next one.